Hello, Kit. Hello, Kathy. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, so, I'm really sorry about your family, Jon Snow. Yeah, I know. But I guess it yeah. pays to be the bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Going to the wall wasn't such a bad idea now. Right, right, I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> Being a crow isn't such a bad thing, although a lot of women hate you for that. Yeah, yeah. But in Pompeii... Man, the women are just going to fall in love with you because you're the horse whisperer, that stare you do. Did you have to practice that stare in the mirror a lot? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it takes you? a lot of work in the morning. I need to Did kind you? of fix it in there. Yeah, no. Do you know what stare I'm talking about? Because in the movie, you're being the horse whisperer, yeah. the clansman of the horse people, you know, every time you have to slow the movie down with, your, with you being comfortable, you do the stare. And it was like, oh my God, stop staring at me. But yeah. I mean, did you practice that a lot? It, like you put the movie in a trance when you do the stare. Uh, yeah, I was starving all the way through the movie. <laughs> okay. They probably so just they so probably just had like a burger off camera. <laughs> and, and, so and that, you that's what got that stare. Wanting it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you know this, but Kiefer Sutherland, you know, he has fought a lot of people. He beat up a Christmas tree. Were uh -huh. you nervous having to fight Kiefer Sutherland? You know what? He was so good at it. Yeah. He was. He was. I've done a lot of fighting, and and uh, uh, I never fought a Christmas tree. No, but, um, no, no. Well, I've you done, couldn't I've take done, a <laughs> 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 He uh, he's done a lot of. I've done a lot of fighting, and, and I was sort of. You always hope that the person opposite you is going to be good, good, otherwise you can get hurt. And for he was. Sure. He was incredible. He was absolutely amazing, and. Um, he really went for it as well, so it did feel like a proper fight. Good. Are you going to be taking any of those new fight moves back to Game of Thrones? I did. I yeah. did for season four. I, I, I went straight from this movie on to season four of Thrones, which is a very heavy action-packed season. And okay. I, um, I returned a much better fighter having done this movie, going oh, good. back to that one. Were you like, listen, I got this. Everybody just stand back. This I had such an ego. Scene. I had such ego going <laughs> Can't take back this to big coat off and this is how we're going to do this. Was it like one sword? Where's the second? <laughs> Where's the second? I can do this. I can do this with my hand tied behind my back. I'm so good now. <laughs> um, do you like, I mean, what did you know of Pompeii before starting this movie? I knew what I think most people know, which is that Vesuvius, you know, this, this volcano goes off in... in about a, a thousand years ago and it covered a, a city called Pompeii and then a thousand years later we uncovered the archaeological site and there were a few the people. The basic story. The basic yes. story. Uh, in research for this I learned a lot more about it obviously and it's fascinating mm -hmm. how the day unfolded and what I found fascinating about this movie and about Pompeii itself, uh, the thing that really captures people's imagination is the plaster cast bodies, the idea of these yeah. people kind of a bit like um, last moment. the Lion Witch in the Wardrobe, like they're, they're stuck in stone, you yeah. know, they're, they're at the moment they died. And, and that I found very morbid, but very, very, very interesting to build a film around. Are you sick of people always having to put stuff in your hair when you're on set? Uh, I don't mind it. You don't mind? I don't mind it, no. When you're done, are you going to be shaving I'm, your head? This is all coming off. <laughs> is it? Yeah. You gotta let the soul go. It's, uh, <laughs> it can be troublesome. I saw you behind the scenes. Uh -huh. You know, I, I saw you practicing the fight scenes and everything, but there was a scene where you were actually kind of helping the crew mop the blood and oh, the yeah. scene and stuff. Yeah. You really get into the movie 100%. Like, you, you can help people. I mean, you're the actor. You don't have to do that. Is that just something you've always grown up doing? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Especially if you're a lead in a movie, you get to know a crew and cast so well that you're all... A lot of people make the mistake and think it's about the actors and the director. It's not. You're it's an ensemble. Not. Everyone makes a movie. Right. And that's that's how it should be. It's cool. Well, yeah. thank you very it's much. Good to meet you, Kathy. It is nice.